Hello, and welcome to today's broadcast, Power Modern Work, Transforming Employee Experience with Microsoft Viva, brought to you by Insight. Before we begin, I want to cover a few housekeeping items. This webcast is designed to be interactive between you and the presenters. The webcast console you are looking at can be completely customized. You can resize or move any of the windows that you have open. If you have any questions during the webcast, you can click on the Q&A widget at the bottom and submit your question. All questions from this webcast will be captured and our speakers will answer throughout the presentation. If you are experiencing any technical difficulties, please visit the webcast help guide by clicking on the question mark icon below the presentation window. The help guide covers common technical issues. I would now like to turn over this presentation to our speaker, Anna Donnelly, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. My name is Anna Donnelly. I am a services product manager with Insight, specializing in modern work. And today we're going to talk a little bit about employee experience with Microsoft Viva. Employee experience really is something that has been on the radar of a lot of CIOs of late. Um, and the reason for that is that if you do it right, if you do it well, it yields really good results. And that means that you are having great experiences all the way from the time that you onboard folks to how you retain them, how you engage them, how you upskill them and how they feel about your organization. And for the folks that get this right, it yields really good results, right? People are more likely to stay. They're more likely to be high performers. They meet goals for customer satisfaction. They want to innovate. So the business outcomes and the employee outcomes are fantastic, right? So we're focused on all of this. But then when you actually look at the satisfaction of employees, we're not quite in the same place, right? 13%, according to a Gartner study, says that they're largely satisfied. That's a pretty low number. If you just say kind of satisfied, it moves up to about 50%. So minimally, even if you're doing this pretty well, you, there's probably some room for improvement in your organization. And part of the reason this has been so difficult is because we have moved on with the way that we interact with work. And this is not just a phenomenon associated with the pandemic, but also um, it is something that really has been going on for the last 10 years. But we're still kind of addressing things in the same way that we did 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Right. When we would go into the office, we had maybe a couple of line of business applications we worked on. We had email. Right. Everybody around us was doing the same thing. We would meet in the conference room. If I had a question, they knew exactly who to go to. You know, you had your manager who had a direct line to HR. That's not how things are anymore. And what really exists and what the challenge is that Microsoft Viva is really solving for is what you're looking at here, which is a digital experience that can be pretty chaotic, right? If you think about the number of apps that you access every day, there are studies that say that the average employee has access to 38 apps uh, to do their jobs. Every one of those apps, everything that you interact with represents someone who's a subject matter expert. It represents an opportunity for you to be trained. It represents opportunities for you to meet other people in the organization who use that for knowledge sharing, right? And you might have several different ways to, um, you know, complete certain uh, initiatives that are productivity based. So if that's, you know, Microsoft 365 uh, productivity apps or Google, um, how to get trained. There's probably several different ways to do that. You have um, BI related applications and uh, CRM and uh, then all of the line of business stuff and then all of the the um collaborative stuff and that really equals a employee experience that pretty much takes place digitally whether or not we are in the office we are at home we are hybrid right really think about that when you go into your office every day the first thing that you do is not interacting with everybody you turn your computer on right and you're probably there until you have to get up and that is regardless again of where you are at. So this is the employee experience. So to address that, uh, there is recommendation that 
we should put together a hub for work, right? One place to go for everything. This is not a new idea. It's been somewhere in the ether among the various business uh, consulting firms for at least five years. And it really is this idea that you've got one place digitally to go for everything. So even if you are going into the office, you're still going to one place on your computer, right? Whether you're home, remote, hybrid. You know exactly where to go to get all your applications. You've got the right information to get access to those things, to get training, to, to connect with people, and then also to feel connected to your organization. So that's everything from addressing things like well-being, how engaged you are with your company, um, do you feel part of a larger purpose, all the way to um, how do you get employee services and support for things like expense reports or uh, HR, do you, how do you get your information about your benefits or technology services and support? How do I get uh, help from the service desk, right? All of that underpinned by good processes, automation, analytics, intelligence development, um, and then obviously modern identity and security really dealing with that, right? So this is the new approach. Microsoft does a really good job uh, of that with Teams. And this is something that has really kind of been a long time coming, right? Teams has been out for quite a few years now, and it it was always meant to be the hub for work, right? Um, and or the new way to work. That was the that was the um, tagline back in the day. And now we have a whole new way to work. But Teams is really meant to be your hub for work. And on top of all of that are the Microsoft Viva applications that really kind of address everything that we are talking about here that is on the right side, right? How are you engaging your employees? How are you empowering them to do their jobs every day? Um, and again, one place to go, you can get all your, collab uh, your collaboration apps there, your chat, email, all of those sorts of things. And then perhaps you could also access all of your line of business, the things that you use every day to actually get your jobs done, right? So Teams is the new hub for work. Microsoft Viva is really the support and the glue that brings all of those things together. And if we look at what's actually in the Viva SKU here, right? So there is quite a bit that's here. It's grown to about 11 different uh, solutions that exist somewhere uh, under the Viva umbrella. We are going to talk about everything that is to the left of Viva Sales. So Viva Sales, if you have a CRM platform that is Dynamics or Salesforce, is an amazing AI-based tool. Uh, that really works well with some of the things that you're seeing coming from uh, Microsoft about Microsoft 365 Copilot, co Copilot for sales, all of those things. It's a fantastic product. Uh, certainly, you can contact folks at Insight and we can give you some more information about that. It's about making your salespeople more informed and more efficient. Um, but what we're talking about today is everything to the left. And it's about getting everybody engaged so that they feel connected to your organization so that they, you have the right insight into what your folks are doing so that you can make the right decisions for your people that they feel some kind of a purpose tied to you and your company uh, and that they have opportunity to, gr to grow so we're going to talk a little bit about each one of these it's a lot of information but hopefully all these things will come together you'll understand so when we first talk about connection, the first thing that we should discuss is Viva Connections, um, which really is Microsoft's answer to how do I get a SharePoint intranet easily into Teams? Um, and there's finally an a really good answer for that. So I've been around the SharePoint world for a very long time now. It's been about 15-ish years. And this was always a question, right? How do we make a good internet? How do we make the, the design right? How do we give a good mobile experience? Well, everything that you see here is out of the box. So not only do you get the internet experience and the design that's out of the box, but the mobile experience also, once you activate Viva Connections, it's giving you an automatic mobile experience. 
nothing that you have to do ever to look at the design of an, on a mold of mobile device. It all just sits in Teams. And it's personalized, customized for your organization. It's everything that you would expect from um, a intranet site. And then even more, because the integrations exist between Viva Connections and the rest of the Microsoft 365 suite, the rest of Viva. So it makes for a very good uh, experience. When you combine that with Viva Engage, it's an even better experience. And I know some of you that have been around Microsoft for a while are thinking Viva Engage is just Yammer. Yes, Viva Engage absolutely is Yammer. And I know that there are others of you who say have very specific opinions about Yammer. I will tell you that Viva Engage is Yammer within Teams and then provides an even better experience, um, more features, more ways to get your employees involved. So in, the part of the issue with Yammer was that it just kind of sat out here as a thing separately. So if I wanted to have a conversation uh, with someone in some sort of a social setting, I had to go out to my browser, go to Yammer, look at what was there, and it kind of set very separately. I might get a bunch of email um, notifications that things are going on over there, but it's really kind of a distraction in some ways, right? Now Viva Engage brings us into Teams. You can get notifications right uh, within your activity feed. So if someone is at mentioning you on a particular post, something like that, um, it will show up there. It integrates with Viva Connections. Your leaders can have a specific place to go to interact with people. When you go to Viva Connections, um, that's the first thing that's going to open up within Teams when you log in to Teams, right? So if I see a post there, I can interact with it right within uh, Viva Connections, never having to go out to Viva Engage. So it brings all of that social activity right into the flow of work, um, and it makes it a lot more useful. There are ad additional uh, features and functionality that are included with Engage that really make the Yammer experience a lot richer um, and a lot more like what we would expect um, from this kind of a social platform. I talk about, so while Viva Topics is under the growth col column, where Microsoft is concerned, I talk about Viva Topics uh, as part of connection because I really see it more of an extension of your intranet. So the way that intranets are organized these days is via a taxonomy that someone sat around and thought of, you know, if I need to go to HR and I need to find policies, here's how I navigate there. It takes a little bit of searching, perhaps the search works, maybe the search doesn't, to find the information that's there. And then the folks who are completing information that is visible to everyone in your organization are making an assumption about what people need, right? They're assuming that you're going to want to navigate here and there and, you know, see the page that has all the people on it, right? See the information um, and the documents that are so associated with a particular thing, whether it's a policy site or, or information about your product, right? What Viva Topics does is, through the magic of AI, brings that experience to your employees throughout the, the, the Microsoft 365 uh, environment. So instead of me having to seek this information out, it comes to me very easily based on the topic. That's why it's called Viva Topics. And what happens when you implement this is that it crawls your Microsoft 365 environment and it looks for the most relevant things uh, to your organization. So it will say, hey, Anna, a lot of people are talking and creating content about Microsoft Viva. Do you want to create a, con a topics page? It creates that page automatically, um, again, through the magic of AI. And then it takes a knowledge manager to go in and say, yes, this is something that should be a topic. Um, this is something that should be visible to everyone. And that is, again, it's more about bringing information to people in the flow of work, the things that are truly relevant. I am talking about this at a very high level. There's a lot here. It is one of my favorite topics 
be the topics topics to talk about. Um, there, but it really ends up being a feature within your employee experience that becomes something that folks really hang on to, right? Um, being able to find that information. And then I also get to find out, you know, who is associated with it. AI is the one that does the curation there of that information so that it's always fresh. So if someone leaves your organization, there's five other people behind them that says also these people are creating a lot of content about it. So it does take a little bit of administration, but it's it's um, really very useful, very modern way of approaching this old idea of the internet um, departmental pages. And then when you combine Viva Engage and Viva Topics, you get answers in Viva, which gives you a really great way to crowdsource um, support knowledge-based questions any question that your employees might have, they can go to Viva Engage and go, go to answers. And based on the information that is in topics for subject matter experts who are associated with particular things, it will say, hey, someone's asking a question that maybe you can answer. And then you can say, this is a correct answer. It's there for all time, right? So again, it's bringing everything into one place. This is all accessible uh, via Teams. The information from Viva Topics shows up everywhere. It shows up in um, Outlook. It shows up in Teams, certainly. Uh, coming up here, it's also going to show up in Word um, and any of the other Microsoft 365 productivity applications as well. So it really kind of rounds out that experience um, to help your employees really navigate and find information efficiently. Viva Amplify also is part of that connection piece, but it is something that I guarantee you, you are in IT, perhaps, maybe you're in HR listening to this. If you talk to somebody in communications, if you talk to somebody in marketing, this is something that they're looking for. So it becomes kind of like a Marketo or a sprinkler um, right there within the Microsoft 365 environment so that you can manage communications all from one place. So that means that I can create a campaign that includes an email, a Teams site um, post, a Viva Engage post, a SharePoint or an intranet post as well. I can manage and distribute it all from the same place. And then I can also see how those things perform. I can see who's clicking on what. I can see if the social um, components are actually reaching the, the audiences that I would intend them to see. So it goes a little bit further into making sure that the information that you want people to see actually gets in front of them. So on the insights column, this is really all about building good work habits on the individual level. And then on your organizational level, it's about getting the information that you need to make the right decisions. I'm hearing a lot lately about decisions that are being made um, perhaps based on the return to work uh, question, right? Based on gut feelings, you know, we think this is going to be good. Well, guess what? There's some stuff out there that will help you make some really good decisions based on qualitative and quantitative data. And it starts with the personal insights that are really, is really kind of encouraging folks to um, build good work habits. So whether that is making sure that you've got time fo to focus every day to the email that you, perhaps you see um, in Outlook that comes up from, from Viva Insights that will show you that, um, you know, you've got upcoming meetings. Do you want to prepare for them? It'll say, did you perhaps forget to respond to this person who asked for something? So it's about building good work habits on an individual level. When we move to the advanced insights, it's really more about um, showing folks what's going on in your organization, whether that is at the manager level or all the way at the top um, for the entire organization. Everything that is here is anonymized. If you've got less than nine people in on your team, you're not going to be able to see anything at all. Um, so there is a lot privacy has been protected here. I've worked with a couple of organizations who've been able to pass this through German Works Councils with flying colors, so it absolutely is possible to do. But this will help your, your managers make sure that they are managing the right way. So there's a lot of this question lately as well. How do we manage people remotely? 
You can see whether or not folks are, are maintaining their one, one-on-ones. You can encourage your employees to take time um, to focus on tasks so their meetings are not all day, every day. And then to that end, for on an organizational level, you can see where your folks are are at as well. So here it says 35% of employees collaborate outside of set working hours. Perhaps this is a um, measurement of potential uh, burnout. Maybe it's like one or two teams who are skewing that 35% really heavily, and those are teams that we need to really take a look at. So it gives you some a place to start with with real data on what's going on, how your people are collaborating within your organization. When we move on to growth, let's talk about Viva Learning. So Viva Learning is um, a solution that there's a lot of misconception around. It is not a learning management system. So this does not negate the need for a learning management system. You can connect it to uh, SharePoint as a learning site in the background. You can do that. However, it is not meant to be a cornerstone or a precipio or anything like that. What it does is bring the content and the end user experience right within Teams. And that matters because if you think about the amount of money that we spend on these learning management solutions, um, and particularly the upskilling solutions, so if you're, whether it's a LinkedIn Learning or Percipio or Skillsoft or something like that, right? Spend a lot of money on that. Good adoption is considered to be 20 to 30%. That's a lot of money that you're spending on a solution that's only getting about 20 or 30% play throughout your, your company, right? And part of that is, it's the same problem that there was with Yammer. It's just this thing that hangs out here, right, in the browser that you have to remember to go out to. Um, and it brings all of that, again, into the flow of work. It is really about the end user experience with learning, with upskilling. Um, it's not necessarily about the reporting and the, the L&D components that we would uh, associate with a learning management system. So what will happen is you can assign and take training right there within Teams. If I'm a manager, manager, I can recommend training. I can assign training right from a chat, from a Teams channel. And then I can go in there and I can also see who has taken their training. So I don't have to get a um, you know, spreadsheet from the learning and development department that says, here are the 10 people who have not taken their compliance training. Uh, I can actually go right there within uh, Viva Learning and see that for my team. Um, so it's really kind of just a better way to consume learning, to do upskilling in your organization. And then on the purpose piece is Viva Goals. So Viva Goals, I have an analogy that I like to use for this because it, it can be um, a little bit difficult to explain, but Viva Goals is an objectives and key results platform, an OKR platform. If you are not familiar with this, I'm going to guess that someone in your HR department probably is, um, because this is essentially about bringing everybody together to understand how they are contributing to the bottom line in your organization and what matters. And why does that matter? Here's my analogy. So way back in the day, there was this TV show called Lost it's one of my favorite shows. And there was a guy named Desmond, and he would wake up com in complete isolation, just him, every day. Maybe some of us do this remotely. And his only purpose was to press a button at the same time every day. And the reason that he did that is because he was told that if he did not do that, the world would end, right? So think about what might have happened with Desmond if he was just told to go press the button because you got to press the button. Would there be the sense of urgency for him to get up every day at the same time, make sure that the button's pressed if he didn't know that the world was going to end, right? And this is like a super exaggerated hyperbolic example of, of where employees are at, but a lot of us are just getting up every day and pressing a button, right? I'm in customer service. I don't understand how it matters that I answer the call on time and that I'm friendly and that, you know, we get the sale, right? How are we really contributing to the bottom line? I'm working on a project that is, you know, specific to some ERP solution or something like that. How is that really helping anyone? 
Um, and that is really what Viva Goals is meant to do. So it brings all of the project level stuff up and it associates it with your organization um, goals and whether that's annual or maybe that's um, a division in your organization, something like that. It organizes everything that occurs in your in your organization under common goals and an understanding of what we're all working toward. This is very useful in helping folks understand why they are important to your organization. Furthermore, people in Viva is another feature where it gives you a very rich uh, contact card experience. People in Viva allows you to see what goals people are working toward. So if I get on a call, instead of asking people, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Anna, I work in X, I've been here for X number of years. You can just open their contact card and say, hey, I see you're working on this project. Tell me a little bit about it, or here are all the topics that are associated with it. So again, it's about bringing people together for common purposes, being able to find these things easily. And all of this gets done in a way that can be automated as well. So really cool stuff. Again, something that's a little nebulous to kind of wrap your mind around uh, until you see it, but it's really something that's very valuable. Okay. So the last two things we're going to talk about are Viva Pulse and Viva Glint. They are kind of two sides of the same coin, uh, and they go hand in hand with Viva Insights. Viva Pulse is at the manager level. So if you remember, we also had a manager level for Viva Insights. At the manager level, so whether you are managing a project or you're managing a team, um, you can choose from a set of curated questions to gauge what is going on with your folks um, in your team, in your, your project, right? If you see that everybody is working after hours, you can send them a note that says, hey, or you can send them a survey that says, hey, how are things going? All of this stuff also is anonymized and it's meant to give you um, more visibility into what's going on and why the things are going on um, on your team that are happening, essentially. Um, in a way that is a little bit more anonymous that hopefully will give you um, some pieces to the puzzle as to what is happening um, as a manager. And then on top of that is Viva Glint, which was an acquisition that was made through Microsoft's acquisition of LinkedIn. Um, that is really a employee survey tool, just like any other employee survey tool you would uh, associate with kind of the annual employee survey or you know, quarterly or whatever it is that you do, um, except it's approached in a very modern way. Um, and beyond that, everything is um, integrated within Microsoft uh, 365. You can get this, these, these uh, surveys in front of people in a lot of different ways so that they are interacting. Um, and then it actually gives you recommendations for taking action. And it is integrated with Viva Insight, so you can tell if the behaviors are matching matching what they say, right? If you're asking everybody, are you meeting with your manager regularly? Do you feel good about your manager? And then you find out, everybody says, yeah, okay. And then you find out that nobody's meeting with their manager through Viva Insights. You know, that gives you a place to begin to investigate what might be going on in a particular area of your organization. So it's meant to give you better visibility into what is happening from a qualitative and a quantitative um, perspective so that you don't have to go out and make gut decisions that are really going to impact a lot of people. Um, and again, everything in the flow of work integrated with Microsoft 365, it's a great solution. All right, so lastly, we've been through all of this stuff. Here's just a little bit of information that you need to know about licensing. There are some pieces that are included with your E3 licensing today. So whether it's Office 365 or Microsoft 365 from Viva Connections, Engage Insights and Learning, you can deploy an e a Viva Connection site um, in your organization with your E3 licensing today. Um, there are some that require a standalone license. Um, and then there are also additional uh, bundled licensing that is that is optional as well. So they've bundled a few of these things together that make sense, so like the connections piece, um, and have that, <clears throat> excuse me, that pricing as well. 
So if you would like to learn a little bit more uh, about what we've talked about, which we've talked about a lot, um, please scan the QR code that you see here uh, and someone will call, reach out to you to schedule a strategy session. Uh, I believe Abby's got a little bit uh, of additional stuff to add to this as well. So I will turn it over to Abby. Thank you very much for sitting and listening to me. Um, really appreciate your time. Thank you to our speaker for today's broadcast. Please make sure to register for the upcoming webinar in our Power Modern Work series using the link in the supporting materials widget on the right side of your screen. If you have any questions or would like additional information, please visit our website, solutions.insight.com.